Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to the show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, cat. Hey, Bruce, how you doing this week? It's Monday. Doing good, <laughs> doing good. Now, did you did you get a break this weekend? No. I'm sure. <laughs> what did you, I mean, did you guys do something this weekend? I mean, like, we were rehearsing, like, all afternoon on Saturday for the vagina monologues. Oh, my gosh, look, I said it on the radio. And it yeah. Was okay. the, uh, um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we were rehearsing all afternoon for that, and we're in Tech Week now. Oh, okay. For that play, it's opening market. Rehearsals, yes, yeah. of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in full rehearsal mode, we went and saw Death Takes a Holiday at the Checker Playhouse on Saturday yeah. night, and then back to more rehearsals yeah. on Sunday. So yeah, it was a full weekend. Wow, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely keeping myself busy, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> you are. Geez, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. How about you? It well, sounds like you were gaining new skills and doing some really cool remote work over the weekend. Well, yeah, that's what I was just <laughs> talking to Kat before the show about Michelle Boer, you know, the Oregon Coast VIP of marketing. She helped take over doing the paper for me. And training me in the process, and uh, let's just say the next issue you see, I put most of that stuff in there, and everything. I got yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, she taught me how to do it, and I'm still training, still learning a little bit, but I am accomplishing what I can. And I'm trying to make it easy, so all she has to do is go through and edit it, you know, and everything. I'm putting everything on the right page, all that good. Stuff. I'm just having fun with it. It's a really cool system that she came up with. We were talking about and everything like that. That program is just awesome. Isn't you know, it? Yeah. It's just really cool. You know, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, right, you yeah. know, it's like, yeah. Got to give a little plug because that's really an awesome app. i never yeah. seen it before. And mm-hmm. we could be able to do all kinds of stuff and everything. But it's really mm-hmm. cool putting the paper together now. I'm, I mean, now I'm mm-hmm. pretty much doing everything and it's great. And Michelle's going to, she's going to go over and kind of be the editor on it and make mm-hmm. sure everything is good looking and all that good stuff and fix this mm-hmm. and that. And then show, tell me what I did wrong and how to fix that, you know, and everything. It's like. Mm-hmm. I leave the training with her, and I told you, I, I hit a block wall, and I'm like, going, oh, I'll be right in good mode, man. And all of a sudden, it'll be like, hit a block wall, and it'll be like, oh, man, yeah. like, I, I'll get her on this next one. It's to transfer ads. I wanted to move some ads from one page to another, and if, if they're single by themselves, then I can drag them. That's easy. Mm-hmm. But if they're in a full page, that's when I went, all right, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. forgot to ask that question. Is each mm-hmm. time I do it by myself, I get some questions. See, I know what you need to do being a Canva user for seven years, and I can just show you after the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah, no. You Love know. it myself. It's been very helpful. I oh. make all my play posters out of You know, yeah. I mean, that's mm-hmm. what I mean. So I'm seeing a whole new world open in there on all kinds of stuff, doing and helping so out. So empowering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. that's very cool. Yep. So that's what I did this weekend. I'm pretty much, I wanted to get it all, most of it done that I could. And I got some more stuff to work on. So I'll be getting that done when to leave the show and everything. Mm. But yeah, pretty exciting, pretty exciting. Mm. And uh, so that was it. Big weekend, watch the race and stuff like that, working, watching the race and the bowling and all that. Yeah, had yeah. some fun, you know. <laughs> yeah, time for fun we, in there. We so didn't far. have no Nerf Wars this mm-hmm. weekend, but hey, we're, we'll get back on it next week. So. There you go. <laughs> so, there you go. Yeah. But, Sometimes that's how it happens. Yeah, that's right. But hey, yeah, a lot of shows going on. They're still happening. we got a busy month coming up. March is going to be crazy. So before we get going, I hope everybody got out there and had some fun this last weekend, too. It was beautiful weather we had. Nice, mm. nice, nice. So that's cool. I'd yeah. like to see more of that. That would be great. So, hey, before we get going here, I'd like to thank Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. If you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows out there on KCIW, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your merry way. Well, we don't have any guests, so we can just slide right into the music. We got plenty of music. So There's anyway. lots going on in March. So first thing, at the Elk Valley Casino, the Betty Green Event Center on the 1st is going to host Vegas McGraw at 8 p.m., On the 8th, it looks like they're having a private event, nothing public happening there that day. But on the 16th, they have comedian Tim Gaither at 8 p.m. On the 23rd, hey, it's another private event happening. On the 29th, Bad Moon Rising, it's a CCR tribute at 8 p.m. And then on the 30th, one of these nights, an Eagles tribute at 8 p.m. And then they've got a lineup here for the Warriors Bar and Grill. It looks like all events starting at 7.30 p.m. there on the 1st and 2nd. They're going to have Robert Tiernan. On the 8th, the Mighty Steelheads. On the 9th, Steve Berg. 
on the 15th and 16th, Hannah Paysinger. On the 22nd and the 23rd, it's Jesse Mead. And then on the 29th and 30th, it's Steve Nelson. Whew, man, look well, he's rocking it out. Look at that. Busy. CCR and Eagles going on two nights, yeah. right? And back to back. That is, that's awesome. That's really cool. Hey, the Mighty Steelheads on uh, the 1st, they'll be playing at Inateca at 7.30 to 10.30. On the 8th, they'll be at Elk Valley Casino, 6 to 9. And then on the 9th, they'll be at Pops, 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Not sure where that's at. But it's called Pops. It's called Pops. There we go. And then we have a lineup here for the Italian guys. They're playing on the 7th, the 14th, and the 29th at Kuntai. All Kuntai, all month long from 6 to 8 p.m. There you go. Hey, and Bloodline, they're playing on the 17th at Fat Irish. That's for St. Paddy's Day at 2.30 p.m. All right, and then Mike Powell is playing on the 1st at the Brookings Elks Lodge from 6 to 8. And on the 22nd, he'll be at Checo Brewing from 6 to 8. Hey, Daniel Duran and Ohana, on Tuesdays, they do the open mic at Auction Free, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. On Thursdays, they do the open mic at Checo Brewing from 5 to 8. Then on the 7th, they'll be at the Grange during the Misty Mountain Brewing Leather and Lace Party. Music runs from 5 to 9. Don't have a set schedule for it. And then on the 23rd, they'll be back at the Grange with the Chamber of Commerce resident meet and greet, which runs from noon to 5. So, boo boo, they're out there doing it. Yep, and a full schedule for PA and T-Roy here on the 2nd. They're playing at Kuntai from 6 to 8. On the 7th, they'll also be at the Grange's Misty Mountain Brewing Leather and Lace Party. Again, music there running from 5 to 9 p.m. On the 8th, they'll be at Checo Brewing Co. from 6 to 8. And on the 22nd, they'll be at Misty Mountain, 6 to 8 p.m. Yeah, they didn't have the music lineup of who's going from 5 to 9, so just show up and somebody will be up there playing. It's going to be a smorgasbord <laughs> yeah, board of lots of music. There'll be lots of good music, yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, here we got the Rogue Strings. They're going to be on the 16th at Oxenfree at 8 p.m. And, of course, we've got regular music here from Long Goddard playing on the 1st, 15th, and 29th at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8. On the 6th and 20th, he'll be at Kuntai from 6 to 8. On the 9th, he'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant from 6 to 8. And then on the 30th, he'll be at the Stage Lights Spaghetti Feed Fundraiser that's happening at the Grange. And that event's running from 4 to 7 p.m. Yeah, the Grange is getting used yeah. this month, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Hey, Tortuga Mexican Restaurant, the music runs from 6 to 8. Polis Bolas will be on the 1st. On the 2nd, we got Jamber. On the 8th, Yvonne Herzog. On the 9th, Lon Goddard. On the 15th, Honest Labor. On the 16th, Black GTO. On the 22nd, Jonathan Foster. On the 23rd, Yvonne Herzog again. On the 29th, Greg Russell will be there. And then on the 30th, hey, it's Honest Labor again. Yeah, it's always good to have some Honest Labor, that's for mm-hmm. sure. Mm, there you go. Hey, Cisco and Daltrey are playing on the 27th of March at the Checo Activity Center. Music there from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and then Cisco's going solo on the following dates, the 2nd, the 9th, the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. They'll be at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Yeah, and Ranch Party is playing. On the 1st, they'll be at Checo Brewing Company, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. On the 8th, they'll be at Brookings Elks Lodge, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And on the 15th and 16th, you catch them at Coon Tai, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then over at the Inateca in Crescent City on the 1st, the Mighty Steelheads will be playing from 7.30 to 10.30. Yep, and then we got the Spence Brothers Blues Band. They will also be at the Inateca on the 15th from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. All right, and then finally, Stephanie Latore and the Reverbs are playing on the 2nd at Porta Pints. That's from 8 to 10. And then on the 22nd, they'll be at Inateca from 8 to 10. That's right. Very cool. Very cool. So that is our music schedule. Nice, good one for fresh. (laughs) Sounds like there's a lot going on. Yeah, Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And then we have from Curry Public Library in Gold Beach on the 29th of this month, February at 530 p.m., you can join marine biologist Nancy Treneman of the Oregon Institute of Marine Biology for a free talk on the creatures that dwell in our local waters. The public is invited to join them for an investigation into the hidden lives of some of the Oregon Coast's most interesting marine creatures. There's a treasure trove of obscure, beautiful organisms living alongside some of the better-known icons that have a lot to teach us. We will learn about crab-to-crab relationships, sea cucumber predator escape tactics, brittle star feeding techniques, and more. 
The crab to crab relationship. There you go. Mm-hmm. Hey, Checo Pelican players, located at 1240 Checo Avenue in Brookings, is presenting Death Takes a Holiday. This is directed by Christina Rushton, assistant directed by Stephen Rushton. In the early 1930s, Italy's as Death, the Loneliest of Souls, suspends his usual business to explore the mysteries of mortality, hoping to learn why it is that men fear him. Posing as handsome Prince Serki, he arrives at Duke Lambert's Italian villa to spend time with the Duke and his guests. And for the first time, he glimpses the joys and heartbreaks of mortal life. Although attracted to the mysterious prince, the guests shy away from him, sensing his true nature. But Grazia, the beautiful young woman who the Duke thought was to marry his son, falls for the handsome stranger. Will her love prevail over death? This is going from March 1st to 3rd, Friday and Saturday, 7.30 p.m., and then Sunday at 2 p.m. Tickets are $15 for adults, $7 for the students. There's three ways to get the tickets. You can visit checkcopp.booktix.com, or you can call 541-469-1857, or you can buy tickets at the door. Door opens 45 minutes before the start of each performance. All right, and then there's a special event coming up here from Three Penny Theater Co. They're presenting Comedy Night at the Ox on the 1st of March from 8 to 10. Join them for a stand-up comedy free-for-all at Oxen Free Public House, featuring material by Chloe Rosenthal and Brandy Lara, with a headliner set by Evan Vest, with additional short sets by more than half dozen up-and-coming comics from Curry and Delmark counties. This event is all about celebrating locally born and locally based up-and-coming comedians. There's no cover charge, but tipping your bartenders and comics is always highly recommended. Hey. Very cool, yeah. Yeah, and now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, here, here are a few quotes from the father of astronomy and modern science, Galileo Galilei. He was born 215, 1564. Had to do one in February because we're the last one of February because this is February. <laughs> So all truths are easy to understand once they are discovered. The point is to discover them. He says, we cannot teach people anything. We can only help them discover it within themselves. Who would set a limit to the mind of man? Who would dare assert that we know all there is to be known? And he goes, I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. (laughs) Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from... Hey, Galileo, yeah, with Cousin Bruce. Until next week, have a great one. Oh, Galileo. Oh, Galileo, that's some good ones right there. I like that one. (laughs) (laughs) Very good, very good. I dig it. All right, hey, there is an Oregon Concealed Carry class happening, and this is going to be happening at the Harbor Rural Fire Department. That's at 98069 West of Adam Lane in Harbor. This is happening on the 2nd of March from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., You can register for the class at StoneRidgeTactical.com or you can call or text 541-499-4706 to get a seat. There is a fee for this class and it is limited to 35 paid students. That's right. Mm Mm-hmm. There you go. Hey, Misty Mountain Bruin is presenting Leather and Lace Themed Party. This is happening on the 7th. 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. This will be at The Grange. There's going to be music, food, and beer. It's the biggest music lineup we have all been waiting for. That's what they say. Hey, with many community favorites like Zane Van Zelf, Steve Nelson, P.A. and T. Roy, Danielle and Ohana, food will be a taco bar, El Pastor, and chicken, El Carbon. Oh, there you go. There. <laughs> yum, yum, drool, drool. All right. And then Danaka is presenting Tiller's Folly in concert. This is happening Friday, March 8th at 7 p.m. Danaka presents West Coast Celtic Roots and Tiller's Folly. Tiller's Folly has been telling tales as old as time with a modern lyrical twist and a penchant for stirring tales of intrigue and adventure inspired by true life heroes and villains, backed by their potent mix of acoustic Celtic influence roots sound. This concert will be held at the Betty Green Event Center inside the Elk Valley Casino Complex. Tickets are available at Del Nord Office Supply in Crescent City, online at danaka.eventbrite.com. And of course, any remaining tickets will be available at the door. For more info, you can contact Naka at 707-464-1336 or by emailing office at denaka.net. Of course, uh, coming up March 8th, Three Penny Theater Co. is proud to present 
The Vagina Monologues by Eve Ensler. This is happening March 8th through the 17th. Friday and Saturday performances at 7 p.m., Sunday matinees at 2 p.m. It's happening at the Brookings Event Center at 800 Checkco Avenue, Unit B in Brookings, featuring performances from Hollywood actor and stand-up comedian Chloe Rosenthal, as well as former Oregon and Boise Shakespeare Festival actor Victoria Weller. The Vagina Monologues has been performed a critical acclaim in venues worldwide since 1996, is an Obie Award winner, and a staple at annual fundraisers to end violence against women. The Vagina Monologues is an introspective, unflinching, and unforgettable night of theater for anyone with a vagina, anyone who identifies as female, and all the people who love and support them. Tickets are $15 in advance at 3 or at the door on the day of performance, with discounts available for seniors, students, and veterans. Doors open 30 minutes before the start of each show. And for more information about this play, you can call 541-251-0640. You can send a message to contact at 3 or you can find and follow 3 Penny Theater Co. on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Very cool, very mm-hmm. cool. You know, you, some of you guys' lineups is almost like reminiscent of the Muse Theatrics, the first theater I was in. Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys like, because we did a, it was a burlesque a theater type thing and everything mm-hmm. like that. We did all kinds of cool stuff. It's been so cool being able to find that more kind of, I don't know, just, just unflinching kind of niche that people people have yeah. been looking for for a while. Yeah, so yeah. it's kind of nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were lucky. We, we had a bar because of the people who, you know, yeah, yeah, they yeah. wanted to have a bar. They had, had a restaurant <laughs> at the time, and so they were able to bring their license. So it was pretty much an adult theater. We did yeah. kids' productions yeah. once in a while, but it was more burlesque type mm-hmm. thing. And I just go out there and, you know, mm-hmm. do off-the-wall well, stuff, things that people the, uh, don't do. You know? Executive director of that, too. I have to say, stay tuned for more developments where such uh, things like adult beverages and other good stuff uh, oh, might sweet. be available yeah. down the It road, always too. helps it. Yeah. Hey, well, yeah. you know, I mean, the Redwood <laughs> Theater started Did selling you? beer, so that was a catch there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay We're, tuned. We're growing. Oh, cool. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Then you'll be just like the Muse, man. That was great. Awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, yeah, it was fun. Hey, Coos Forest Protection Association is presenting, is your home resistant to wildfire? Hmm, is it? Well, (laughs) you can learn about the defensible space and home hardening best practices. Identify ways to make your home and property more resilient to wildfire. Connect with your neighbors and local and state agencies. This will be happening in Gold Beach on the 13th at 6 p.m. at the Event Center on the Beach, 29392 Ellensburg Avenue. And then in Brookings, be on March 14th, at 6 p.m. at the Southwestern Oregon Community College, Cary Campus, located at 96082 Lone Ranch Parkway. For more information, you can call 541-661-3487. There we go. All right. And then, hey, there's a poetry and prose reading happening at Four Castle Books. That's at 553 Checo Avenue. This month is going to feature G.A. Cockrum at 5.45 p.m. on the 7th of March. G.A. Cockrum is both an author and an artist. She lives with her husband, Bruce, on the southern Oregon coast, an area that's inspired much of her writing, including the O'Toole Starker Murder Mystery Series. When not writing, painting, or spending time with Bruce, Cockrum volunteers for the Curry County Sheriff's Office and serves as a director on the boards of the Manly Art Center, the Coos Curry Electric Cooperative, and the Federated Rural Electric Insurance Exchange. She is a retired financial advisor and insurance broker. For more information about this event, you can contact Michael Spring at 541-450-1115, or you can send an email to bluecrow underscore four at yahoo.com. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Hey, St. Patrick's Day fundraiser going on at Checo Activity Center, located at 550 Checo Lane in Brookings. This will be happening on Friday, March 15th. Corned beef and cabbage alternate lunch served from 11.15 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Those are $10 each. And then we got corned beef and cabbage dinner, $20 each, takeout only. But if people mention they are members of the center or they saw it in the insider of Southern Oregon, (laughs) Mm -hmm. because we have it in there, we got the poster in there, or heard about it on the radio on our show here. Hey, you get five dollars yeah. off each meal purchased. You know, that twenty bucks is now only fifteen dollars. See, there you go. So mention us. The pickup for that will be twelve thirty to two thirty PM Sunday, March seventeenth. At four PM St. Patrick's Day, they got a pot of gold potluck. 
They say, please bring a themed green slash Irish dish to share. Your own beverage, plate, and utensils, and or purchase a corned beef and cabbage meal from our kitchen. They are currently accepting donations for these fundraisers. You can contact Rita at 541-469-6822 for information on how you can help. There you go. Cool. There you go. Mm-hmm. Tis the season. Yeah. And at the Rogue Playhouse, that's the Ellensburg Theater, located at 94196 West Moore Street in Gold Beach. They're presenting Tombstone. This is directed by Michael Hall. It's running from the 15th through the 31st of March. They have Friday and Saturday performances at 7.30 p.m. and then Sunday matinees at 2. The year is sometime in the 1880s, and Wyatt Earp and his brothers Virgil and Morgan are living and working as lawmen in Tombstone, Arizona. Wyatt is also part owner of the Oriental Saloon. At the time of their story, Wyatt is living with Maddie Blaylock while seeing a young lady of ill repute named Josie on the side. There is building resentment on the part of ex-sheriff Johnny Behan, whose job and girl Wyatt has relieved him of. The Clantons and the McClowries are no big fans of Wyatt either, for reasons you'll discover. Once Doc Holliday shows up, pursued closely by Big Nose Kate, well, let's just say things begin to escalate. And they advise you to make reservations by calling 541-247-4382. Tickets are $15 and available at Gold Beach Books, as well as Jerry's Rogue Jets Gift Shop. That's right. And you got to somebody in there that you know. Yeah, right. I, I might be married to Wyatt Earp, guys. Like, it's <laughs> Is no that big a deal. Yeah. You got to Wyatt Earp? Yes, Jason's oh, okay. Right from oh. that one. <laughs> no, because he was going to be. Yeah. I know. No, I know. I, I know. Yeah, yeah no. He was wasn't just, sure that he was going to be. Go like, oh, yeah, I'm married to a lawman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wear your uh, uniform. Oh, hell. There you go. Yeah, I'll be catching that the second weekend. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Yeah. That's great. Good for him. That's a good. That's a i never seen the play. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Very different from the movie. Yeah, I guarantee. Hey, Jack Wilhite's Rock and Roll Comedy Show Tour, where rock and roll and comedy collide. The professional rock vocal impressionist and stand-up comedian Jack Wilhite employs guitars, amps, lighting, effects, props, and costumes to bring parodies of your favorite rock acts like ACDC, Bon Jovi, Cheap Trick, John Mellencamp, ZZ Top, Ozzy Osbourne, Prince, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Guns N' Roses, and more. It's uh, like a classic rock tribute band, stand-up comedian, and Weird Al all rolled into one. Now you got two chances to catch the show. On the 15th, they'll be at the Brookings Elks Lodge, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Tickets are available at the door. For more information on that, you can call 541-469-2169. And the second show is on the 17th, And Mr. Ed's Espresso Juice and Underground Pub, located at 1806 Oregon Street in Port Orford. And that's going from 6 to 8 p.m. Tickets are available for that one online at (laughs) www.mredsundergroundpub.com. That makes it easier. Mm -hmm. And it's also at the door. Hey, we have fun here. That's all I got. Don't we just? Oh, goodness. (laughs) (laughs) It's a fun thing to read. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. All right. There is a Del Norte seed and plant exchange happening at the Del Norte Fairgrounds Arts and Crafts Building. This is going to be on the 16th of March from 12 to 4 p.m. This is a free public event. They've got seeds, plants, scions, hands-on garden demonstrations, kids' activities, garden experts available. They've got a silent raffle as well as local food and drinks. This is a fundraiser for the DNATL Community Food Council. There you go. Hey, and the Brookings Oaks Lodge, located at 800 Elk Drivers, present Harbor Game Con. This is happening on March 16th, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. They're excited to announce Harbor Game Con back for its second year. The convention will once again be 100% free to attend and open to all ages. Harbor Game Con 2024 will be hosting the following events, a schedule of tabletop role-playing and board games, a giant open board game library to choose from, Magic the Gathering, casual play, and open card games tables, vendors selling crafts, toys, games, and cards. Their early sign-offs, players can sign up for scheduled games prior to the convention. Early sign-ups will be held March 1st to 15th. Early sign-up period, the sign sheets will be located in a binder at the Whimsical Griffin Game Store in Brookings, Oregon. The day of the convention, sign-up sheets will be available at the convention for the same-day sign-up. Food and beverages will also be available for a purchase. There you go. And hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history. 
for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know, speaking of Galileo, that he dropped out of school and didn't invent the telescope? It's true, and here's the stories. Galileo, whose father was a lute player and music theorist, was born in Pisa, Italy. Although his father was from a noble family, they weren't wealthy. As a preteen, Galileo began studying at a monastery near Florence and considered becoming a monk. However, his father was in favor of his son pursuing a religious life and eventually removed him from school. When he was 16, Galileo enrolled at the University of Pisa to study medicine at his father's urging. Instead, though, he became interested in mathematics and shifted his focus to that subject. Galileo left the school in 1585 without earning a degree. He continued his mathematics study on his own and earned money by giving private lessons before returning to the University of Pisa in 1589 to teach math. And you know, Galileo didn't invent the telescope. Dutch eyeglass maker Hans Lippershey is generally credited with this creation, but he was the first person to use the optical instrument to systematically study the heavens. Lippershey's patent application for the device in 1608 is the earliest on record. However, because the Dutch government decided the telescope was too easy to copy, and because another Dutch instrument maker had tried to patent the device a short time after Lippershey, no patent was granted. In 1609, Galileo learned about the device and developed one of his own, significantly improving its design. That far, he pointed it at the moon and discovered it had craters, mountains, debunking the common belief that the moon's surface was smooth. And although debunking did contribute to the rumor that it was made of green cheese. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's Beer Wears with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. <laughs> That's great. I like that you're on a Galileo kick. I, I know I, I had to. I saw that and I was like, hey. I didn't realize he almost became a monk. Like, Isn't that true? Well, because yeah. like, he spent a good portion of his life with the Catholic Church really mad at him. So, yeah. yeah. Isn't that funny that when he first started out and his dad's like, I don't think that's a good oh, point. irony. Yeah. That's great. All well, right. we got the flying fickle finger fate. We did another show and got that one. Boy, that's the first time we got Bushwhacker in late. So it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, i give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning into this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to check out and tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, at KCIW.org. And while you're there, you can check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off. So, hey, keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And, hey, we'll, we'll see, see you out, out there. Bam! Boom, shakalaka, laka, boom. For music credits for the preceding show, go to kciw.org slash credits.